in this edition of On Record. The Romanian Minister of National Defense visits Elbit Systems headquarters, exploring the company's latest innovations. The Swiss Air Force inaugurates a new fleet of Hermes Starliner unmanned airborne systems. And a new helicopter suite will allow pilots to own the weather. I'm Lauren Izo, and we are On Record. The Romanian Minister of National Defense, Vasile Dencu, recently paid a special visit to Elbit Systems headquarters in Haifa, where he explored a variety of the company's systems, including launchers, unmanned tactical systems, artillery ammunition, land electronic warfare, and networked combat applications. The company has a long-standing partnership with the Romanian Defense Forces, which includes both local production lines as well as a transfer of technology. This visit takes place as the Romanian Ministry of Defense is currently exploring options for a tactical unmanned system, including Elbit Systems' Hermes 450 Watchkeeper model. From the same family, the Hermes Starliner is a medium-altitude, long-endurance UAS and is the first UAS certified to fly in unsegregated civilian airspace. The system has been selected by over 20 customers around the world. The Swiss Air Force has a new fleet of Hermes Starliner unmanned aerial vehicles. The six UAVs by Elbit Systems will be based out of Emmen Air Base near the city of Luzern and are expected to be fully operational by the end of 2023. Switzerland bought the six UAVs known in Switzerland as ADS-15 and the country's first drone operators trained in Israel last year. The Swiss military carried out its first successful flight test of the drone this past June. The Starliner is the first UAS in the world certified to fly in an unsegregated civilian airspace. With a wingspan of 17 meters, a weight of 1.6 tons, it can carry an additional 450 kilograms. It has a maximum flight capacity of 24 hours of continuous flight at a maximum speed of 260 kilometers per hour. Helicopter pilots will now be able to own the weather with Elbit Systems' helicopter suite, allowing them to perform flights that were not possible before. One of the toughest operational challenges of military helicopters is conducting flights during degraded visibility conditions. The new suite allows pilots to see right through the body of the aircraft and provides them with real-time, clear, wide field of view in color during day or night, which can be especially helpful amid challenging weather and visibility. The Cutting Edge suite includes the company's proprietary Excite helmet, the sophisticated Explore sensor network, and an artificial intelligence-powered mission computer. Elbit Systems of America was recently awarded an IDIQ contract to provide 120 millimeter mortar systems for the U.S. Army. The contract has a maximum potential value of up to $49 million. An initial delivery order of approximately $10 million was issued under the contract and will be completed by 2024. The contract was awarded following the successful completion of a previous contract of this type that was awarded to the company back in 2016. An Asian Pacific country will be getting new unmanned turrets from Elbit Systems for its armored fighting vehicles under a contract worth $80 million. Under the contract, the company will supply 30 millimeter gun unmanned light turrets that integrate sensors and display systems for enhanced situational awareness, target acquisition capabilities, fire control systems, and weapon systems of various types, enabling a significant mission performance upgrade. In another win for the Elbit Systems Hermes UAS family, the Royal Thai Navy will be the latest customer to acquire the Hermes 900 Maritime Unmanned Aircraft System in a new $120 million contract with the company. Under this new deal, the company will supply the Hermes 900 UAS featuring maritime radar, electro-optic payload, satellite communication, droppable inflated life rafts, and other training capabilities. The new technology will enable the Royal Thai Navy to perform both literal water and shore missions, dominate vast swaths of sea and long coastlines, communicate with operational vessels, and carry out civilian missions such as maritime search and rescue. The Hermes UAS has been selected to date by more than 20 customers worldwide, attesting to their competitive edge, combining technological sophistication and reliability. Elbit Systems will supply a Durkham system and an airborne electronic warfare system to the Netherlands Ministry of Defense. 
The J-Music Durkham system, together with the company's infrared-based passive airborne warning system, will be supplied for the country's Gulfstream G650 aircraft. These systems have accumulated hundreds of thousands of flight hours to date and have been selected by numerous customers to equip more than 25 types of aircraft. Customers include Israel, Germany, NATO's multinational fleet, and others. Back in the United States, Elbit Systems of America hosted an important visitor recently. U.S. Representative Mike Rogers recently visited the company's headquarters in Fort Worth, Texas. On site, Congressman Rogers toured a number of key production areas, including the F-16 missile warning system used by the U.S. Air Force Air National Guard and the command post integrated infrastructure used by the U.S. Army. He also received a demonstration at the Advanced Technology Integration and Demonstration Lab and Flight Simulator. During his tour, the congressman, who currently serves as the ranking member of the Armed Services Committee, spoke with production employees and expressed his appreciation for the work they do to support America's military personnel. That's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. I'm Lauren Izo. Thanks for watching.